Published, 9.16 Eastern Daylight Saving Time, the 2nd of April 2018. Updated, 12.18 Eastern Daylight Saving Time, the 2nd of April 2018. Rush's, shopping list of subversion, was revealed today by Tori Bob Celia's a cache of leaked emails exposed the Press the Kremlin pays for hacking and propaganda Russia's shopping list of subversion was revealed today as a cache of leaked emails exposed the price the Kremlin pays for hacking and propaganda. Fees for sowing dissent range from hundreds of dollars to thousands depending on the scale of the disruption desired. Tory MP and Russia analyst Bob Seeley today said it was vital for Britain to understand the methods used by the Kremlin regime to stand a chance of stopping them here. The methods were revealed in a cache of emails about the Russia-backed invasion of eastern Ukraine in 2014. The disinformation, bribery and distortion techniques were used to sow dissent on the ground before mercenary soldiers crossed the border on the orders of President Vladimir Putin, revealing the leaks. Mr. Seely told The Times, there is overwhelming evidence that the tools and techniques of Russian covert conflict are being used in and against the UK, the US and the EU. In the wake of the scribble poisoning it's more important than ever that we understand these methods. The leaks were contained in thousands of emails and a password-protected document related to the conflict in Ukraine that Mr. Seeley said revealed a shopping list of subversion, hacking of email accounts was charged at between $100 and $300, a wider plan to troll opponents, demotivate enemies on social media, and amass the personal data of targeted individuals in Ukraine's second-largest city, Kharkiv, was priced at $130,500, a month of anti-Ukraine, pro-Russia rallies in Kharkiv, Ukraine was priced at $19,200, moves to get 30x communist figures elected to local government were floated in June 2015, at a cost of $120,460. Mr. Seely's research is set to be published with co-researcher Elia Shandra, managing editor of an English-language Ukrainian news website by the Royal Royal United Services Institute, a defense think tank, Peter Quentin, a research fellow at the Royal United Services Institute, told The Times, there is no reason to believe these leaks are any less credible than the previous tranches, this third tranche certainly seems to fit with the trend of well-documented subversion by Russian activists in the region, two previous tranches of emails about Russian interference were published online by Ukrainian Cyber Alliance, a hacker-activist collective. They were said to include emails from an account linked to Vladislav Surkov, an aide of Mr. Putin in the Kremlin. The disinformation, bribery and distortion techniques were used to sow dissent on the ground before mercenary soldiers crossed the border on the orders of President Vladimir Putin, pictured in Kemerova last week. He has been closely involved with the management of Donetsk and Luhansk People's Republics, two Russian-controlled statelets in Ukraine established by pro-Moscow separatists. The latest publication appears to contain emails found in accounts linked to Inal Ardzinba, Mr. Surkov's first deputy, and to a Ukrainian Communist Party leader. They suggest that the Kremlin paid local groups and individuals in Ukraine that were willing to advance its aim to fracture the country. It details how hacking of email accounts was charged at between $100 and $300, a wider plan to troll opponents, demotivate enemies on social media, and amass the personal data of targeted individuals in Ukraine's second-largest city, Kharkiv, was priced at $130,500, a month of anti-Ukraine, pro-Russia rallies in Kharkiv, Ukraine was priced at $19,200. It involved the shipping in of trained martial arts experts to start violence. The emails also reveal moves to get 30x communist figures elected to local government were floated in June 2015, at a cost of $120,460. The tactics were used before Russian-backed forces invaded eastern Ukraine in 2014, pictured or dissidents firing rockets at Ukrainian forces in February 2015.